So in this second video, what we want to consider is the behavior of microneedle systems actually in the skin. So how do they dissolve or swell in the skin? And how can we actually track that? How can we gain an understanding of their behavior? So what we see here um, are some examples of microneedle systems in the skin. It's important for us to realize why some microneedle systems might actually dissolve. So dissolving microneedles or microarray patches are designed to contain uh, an active ingredient. So that could be a drug substance or it could be a vaccine. And what we want is the microneedle to be hard in the dry state such that it can actually penetrate the skin. But thereafter, we want it to absorb skin interstitial fluid and dissolve to deposit the active ingredient in the viable skin layers. And depending on what the clinical application is, we might want to target absorption by the dermal microcirculation for either uh, an immediate effect or a, a sustained effect. To do that, we either put a drug form that's water soluble in the microneedles for an immediate absorption, or we put in some sort of a particulate controlled release system in the skin for sustained absorption over a period of time. Alternatively, we place a vaccine. Um, so that could be an antigen, it could be a virus-like particle, or it could be a nanoparticle decorated with an antigen. We place that in our microneedle, it dissolves and deposits then the vaccine agent in the viable skin layers where they can come in contact with professional antigen presenting cells. And that will lead on to a profound immune response. So what we can see in the, in the top optical clearance tomography image are microneedles penetrating the skin. The colored images beneath where we've used green and brown colors to show the outline of the microneedles and also the skin shows the initial insertion of the microneedles and note that there is this gap between the lower base plate and the stratum corneum. So as we move on, the microneedle starts to dissolve, so its shape starts to change. The microneedles are now getting smaller, they're dissolving and depositing their active. And we can see very little of the microneedle left, but note now that the base plate is starting to dissolve and it's now stuck right to the stratum corneum. So this, we can follow this using optical coherence tomography in real time and also in vivo, and we can make these measurements quantitatively throughout the dissolution process. And dissolution really is a, a critical aspect then for a microneedle that we intend to dissolve, obviously. The dissolution rate can be important. So if we want a short wear time for a patient of a patch, then we want the microneedles to dissolve quickly. If we're using the dissolution kinetics to control administration rate, then perhaps we want a slow dissolution of the microneedle. And we can change those properties by changing polymer composition in the microneedle system but we then need to understand its behavior in the skin. So will it penetrate the skin? And then when it penetrates the skin, how quickly will it actually dissolve? And optical coherence tomography is a great tool to allow us to do that. We have a, a technology in the School of Pharmacy at Queen's um, that we have patented, and that is based on swelling microneedles. So these are systems that contain no drug in the needles themselves. Instead, the drug is contained in a, an attached drug reservoir that can be a liquid, it can be a polymer film, it can be a lyophilized wafer, it can be a hot melt extradate. So when these microneedles penetrate the skin, they will take up interstitial fluid and swell and therefore form a continuous, unblockable conduit between the drug reservoir and the dermal microcirculation. We can control the degree of swelling by controlling cross-linked density, but also by modulating the properties of the drug containing layer. What we see in this particular set of images on this slide, so the blue images, show the microneedles as they swell over time in skin. And what we we're doing here is we're able to measure the swelling and dimensional changes in real time in human skin in vivo. So what we're getting here is an appreciation of how quickly these microneedles take up fluid, 
how quickly they swell, and also the dimensional changes as that actually happens. What you can see on the, the optical coherence tomography micrographs in gray are the images showing the microneedles as they're actually swelling in the skin and the various different measurements that you can actually make. Really important for us, and we, we've made great use out of this to study the behavior of microneedles in people's skin in terms of how they swell and change dimensions over wear time. Importantly, in terms of hydrogel forming microneedles, they're removed completely intact from skin and we don't deposit any polymer in the person's skin. And we can actually show that the microneedles are still intact in skin using optical coherence tomography. So this concludes this particular video where we are studying swelling and dissolution kinetics. In the next video, we will talk about skin pores and skin recovery kinetics related to microarray patches, which is another important area of this particular development um, project for microneedle systems in general.